Hey, Ocean Runner here. I was out running on Rye Beach and I found a bunch of really cool sea glass. Um, and it's, it's gorgeous and it is a great treasure. And I'm going to talk to Heidi Duncanson at the Seacoast Science Center because I know she collects this stuff and I want to learn more about it. Come join me. Heidi, I was running on the beach the other day and I found all this beautiful sea glass and I know that you collect it, so I'm wondering if you can tell me more about it. Wow, well those are really nice finds. Yeah, you know, sea glass is an interesting thing. A lot of times when you go to the beach, like I just did here, you find a piece of sea glass. And where sea glass came from originally was people used to throw their trash in the ocean. I know it's hard to believe, Nicole, but that's what they used to do because they felt that was a cleaner way to get rid of their garbage than putting it in a trash heap on land that attracted uh, rats and insects and things like that. So for many years, trash was thrown directly into the ocean, which is really a shame. We've kind of cleaned up our act now, but lots and lots of glass is still hanging out in the ocean. It gets tumbled around on the rocks. It comes up on the shore. In fact, a lot of times the best time to go hunting for sea glass is after a thunderstorm because the violent waves bring it all up and that's a good time to go hunting for it. Right here we've got a selection of sea glass that we found right in this area. These two, the, the clear color and the green, are among the most common along with brown because unfortunately a lot of beer bottles are brown, a lot of beer bottles get thrown in the ocean. Some of the more rare colors that you might see are like this blue one or uh, red or orange. You also, if you ever see black sea glass, that's usually pretty old. It's usually from bottles that were made in the old days using iron oxides. So if you have black sea glass, that's probably pretty old glass. Some of the rest of these might be newer, um, but if you find a, an, an orange, consider yourself lucky because that's the most rare color. Excellent, and these are true treasures of the ocean, that's for sure. Curious now, as we have changed our ways and become more environmental and we're recycling, I wonder if we're going to find sea glass going by the wayside at some point. So, while some of these are already wonderful treasures, I'm wondering if they're going to become even more of a rarity. Well, I think certainly the message that we try to put out at the Seco Science Center is that we don't want to pollute our oceans anymore. We really want to be careful and responsible with what we do with our trash. So it's kind of a win-lose situation, I guess, that we do love finding beautiful pieces of sea glass like this, but it's really better for the ocean if we don't have glass bottles and plastic tossed in, tossed in the ocean. So for now, I guess we'll just keep collecting what we can find, um, but hopefully less trash in the ocean is better for all of us in the end. Well, this is great information. Thanks so much, Heidi. Gotta run.